I got this running off of the wall ward for the cameras. Now I gotta replace the hard drive. Well, the hard drive is actually pretty easy. First thing you wanna do is pull the tire. Pull everything off of it just to make it easier for you. There's four screws in the lid. One, two, three, four. Unhook the SATA port cable. Unhook the power cable, which normally goes to there, but since the power supply was bad, I hooked a known good supply to it. It comes with a Toshiba hard drive and it's bad. So there's four screws, one, two, three, four. Get the old hard drive out. It says Toshiba one terabyte. I happen to have, laying around, a Seagate 1.5 terabyte. So let's put that in and see how it does. So the cables go on this end, of course. All hard drives are gonna have the same mounting screws. Find the mounting holes, line them up over those four holes that we took screws out of. Now this one takes a little coordination. Hold the hard drive in there and find the screw hole. First several times it took me a minute to do it, but it's not hard. Moving around the hard drive from underneath to find that's a little difficult because these are raised on the hard drive side. So I put the SATA cable back in. This is the same thing your computer most likely uses. The continuous cable without the 90 degree turn goes into the drive and it's keyed so it only fits one way. Silver tab up is the right way by the way. And I want to use my known good power supply to figure out what's wrong with that other wall wart. Uh, so I got this back together. It's powered up and the power light should be solid. Okay disk warning unformat. I assume that that is unformatted. Hit the X to close that. Now you've got to be able to log into your system. And the main menu down here, click on that and it'll ask you for your password. So you got to log in as admin. Say log in, it always comes up to the setup wizard for my system. And you can say, check this, don't show this window next time. Give the admin user a password, then go set up a second user. That way you won't get locked out unformatted and that is a 1.5 gig drive format hard drive please select an hd i thought i did select right there and it wants to be sure you want to do this say login entire data will be erased are you sure you want to continue well it was unformatted so it doesn't really matter Formatting, 0% done. Oh, that's pretty fast, actually. It's still in what's called a quick format. Okay, 100% done. And it says stayed okay, so we just replaced the hard drive. Now, once you use DHCP, but if you don't have a network cable attached to it, doesn't really matter. I'm not going to get you an IP, and you'll need one. Okay, so there you go. Replace the hard drive. It's now recording. Pretty quick, not a problem. Worked out well. So, if you like the videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.